Hindu nationalists hold massive rally in Mumbai against Love Jihad. On January 29th, several Hindu organizations held a protest rally against Love Jihad and religious conversions in Mumbai, India. Many leaders from the Bharatiya Janata Party, or BJP for short, attended the rally. One of the speakers of the event, the serial hate monger T. Raja Singh, urged the Hindus to boycott goods from Muslim shops and called for lawful actions against love jihad and religious conversions. He said, quote, our sisters and daughters are falling prey to the systematic designs of the other community. Last year, Singh was suspended from the BJP for allegedly posting a video that contained disparaging remarks about the Islamic prophet Muhammad. He added, quote, a specific community grabs land by building places of worship in any vacant plot of land. The citizen of Mumbai, the citizens of Mumbai are opposed to this. He was referencing the conspiracy of land jihad, wherein Muslims illegally buy homes in areas where Hindus are predominant to take over that locality within a few years. A petition was filed by, um, uh, oh wait, actually, never mind. I don't want to get into that portion of the news. Um, so this is pretty interesting. I want, for context, let me back up here. So we have talked about this dude, T. Raja Singh, many times before on this show. So T. Raja Singh put out a video last year blaspheming against the Prophet Muhammad. And this was very shortly after, um, oh my God, Nupur Sharma, very shortly after the BJP spokeswoman Nupur Sharma made some statements that made the Muslim world freaking lose its mind and basically caused a diplomatic crisis for India. And then ever since that happened, the BJP was scared that it scared the piss out of them. <laughs> and um, then the BJP started cracking down on people that um, talk badly about Islam, even though they are so against Muslims. So it's like, that's how much even they are scared. <laughs> and so this guy put out a video saying some wild stuff about Muhammad. I mean, it was genuinely pretty explicit. Um, <laughs> and he got, he, the, the BJP took, even they're so scared that they kicked him out too. And he's continued on in his political career. He's a serial hate monger. He's had over 101 indictments against him and somehow there's not really been anything that continued from that. So he has a really long history of these things. Anyways, um, he was, you know, part of this big march that happened and there were all these petitions that were filed to try to prevent the march from happening to begin with because this person was like, hey, there's going to be hate speed at, at incitement to violence at this event. This is against the law. And basically they're like, oh, well, this is allowed to happen as long as hate speech doesn't happen at this event. And um, uh, newsflash, um, hate, hate speech uh, did happen at the event. Um, but I want to show you some footage of it. So Armin, if you scroll down in the uh, news article, we should have some footage just to show how big it is. We don't really need audio. I just want to show the size of the crowd. You gave me a Twitter video that shows this even more. Yeah, no, please show that one too, because it's that blew my mind. Yeah, okay, hold on. It's in the show notes. Yeah, I know. I saw it here. This one. Wow. This is crazy. Can you full screen this too? Yeah, look at this. <laughs> That's probably at least 200,000 people, if not more, like maybe 230,000. That is insane. For love jihad? Yes. What is happening? Oh, my God. Seeing that video was what made me want to cover this story, actually. Because it that really drove home for me. I mean, I already knew like how big and how popular this was, right? But it's another thing to see people that are so compelled over it that they take the, to the street to show it, right? 
which means that there's probably like 10 times as many other people who feel strongly about it but couldn't show up in person. I want to, okay. I want to ask ChatGPT what is Love Jihad? Do you think also, it would... do you know that you always say ChatGPT instead of Chat oh, yeah, GPT? GPT. <laughs> yes, GPT. Okay, I don't know why I say that. Um, yeah, let me see. Let's see if we will accept that this is a conspiracy theory or not. It says, love jihad is a term used by some Hindu nationalist groups in India to describe a perceived, okay, good, phenomena of Muslim men targeting non-Muslim women for conversion to Islam through romantic relationships. The term has been used to, span, to spread fear and mistrust between communities and there have been instances of violence against interfaith couples. However, the concept of love jihad has been widely discredited. Okay, good. Okay. Widely discredited by scholars and human rights organizations who, who view it as a baseless and divisive, the, this divisive conspiracy theory. There is no credible evidence to support the existence of a coordinated campaign to convert non-Muslim women to Islam through relationships, and the term is often used to justify discrimination, hate crimes, and violence against Muslims. It is important to note that individuals have the right to freedom of religion and the right to, co to choose their own uh, partners, and that any efforts to force or coerce uh, someone to change their religion are contrary to the principles of equality, justice, and human rights. Okay, so pretty good take by Chet G P T P T, not B T. Why do I always say B T? But it's pretty good. Yeah, I like this one. So more more accurate takes on Hindu related stuff than Islam related stuff so far. Wasn't well, that just typical? Yeah. Not even like conspiracy hat on. Oh my god. Oh, look at this. Shreyash is saying ChatGPT has become another member of the streams and gets treated like an expert. <laughs> oh, it's also Chad GPT. Chad GPT. <laughs> That's what you I should like call that. it now. Chad GPT. Okay. Uh, AI Jihad. Okay, okay, okay. Get my best selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.